So here with me today is Stuart McVitie, COO of Bryson Marine Group. Welcome, Stuart, and thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, uh, Allegra, thank you very much and uh, very kind of um, Boating Industry Canada to, to have me here today. Thank you. Yeah, great. So to start off, could you give a brief background and history of Brighton Marine Group? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, it goes back to 1959 uh, when Habercroft started. Um, that's really the genesis of the aluminum boat building industry in, in Canada. And in 1992, after an illustrious career, at uh, Habercroft was acquired by um, Byron and Cheryl Bolton, who are the current owners today. Um, they took over in 1992 and, you know, really took um, the company forward and moved it into heavy gauge aluminum boats, uh, welded heavy gauge aluminum boats. Um, and then, the company grew from strength to strength, uh, was rebranded as Kingfisher Boats to really capture the offshore fishing market, which the heavy gauge aluminum welded boats were, were, were targeted towards. And then in 2012, Kingfisher acquired RMG, uh, Renaissance Marine Group, which are the producers of Duckworth and Wellcraft boats. And this was really the start of the Brighton Marine Group. Um, from there, it continued to grow with acquisitions. In 2017, the acquisition of Armstrong Marine, which was rebranded to Bricks, a commercial and recreational uh, custom boat builder down in Port Angeles. Um, growth continued with acquisitions in 2019 of Eaglecraft, formerly Daigle Welding and Marine. Uh, Eaglecraft uh, up in Campbell River, and again, a producer of commercial and recreational custom vessels. And then recently in 2021, during the height of the pandemic, the Brighton Marine Group acquired All-American Marine in Bellingham, Washington, USA. Amazing. Uh, so here, a lot here of... Here we are today in 2023. Yeah. You know, the, the, the future certainly looks bright. Yeah, amazing. So could you speak a bit more about the current objectives or goals of Brighton? Yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, we, we really, we, we focus on heavy gauge aluminum welder boats, both in the recreational sector and um, in the commercial sector of, of our industry. Um, and where, where we see us moving forward is, further growth. Um, we're also looking very excitingly towards the Eastern market. The heavy gauge aluminum boats have been very well known here in the, in the West Coast and they, you know, even known as a Northwest style boat. Um, but uh, our friends on the East Coast are starting to pick up what a great boat we build and um, we're seeing increased market demand from that area. And um, there's certainly plans afoot to, to explore those opportunities. Amazing. So more recently, over the last few years or so, have you noticed much change or new trends within the marine industry? Yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, I think as a, everyone in the industry will attest, um, COVID caught everyone by surprise in a very positive light. It was unprecedented demand for recreational marine products. And, um, you know, our industry did everything they could to keep up with this demand. Um, so that, that's that been great and um, certainly coming off a very high, uh, a very strong high from, from, from these recent times. However, we're starting to see that soften, um, but what it has created is a whole new sector of interest in, in particularly the recreational boating sector, um, new entrance to the market. So that's creating new demands on our products. Uh, new feature sets that we have to we have to design into our boats to accommodate these new entrants into the market. So that's really exciting developments, and our uh, engineering and R and D teams are are flat out to um, meet those market demands. Um, we continue to see demand in in high horsepower larger vessels, 
um, which is pretty interesting considering how we see the automotive industry shifting towards EVs. Um, we don't really see that in the recreational sector at this time. However, in our commercial market, um, we're seeing a very strong move towards decarbonization of propulsion systems. And we're very proud at the Brighton Marine Group to be at the forefront of that technology. Um, we recently delivered the very first US Coast Guard fully certified pure hydrogen propelled passenger ferry. Um, this boat will go into operation in, 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 in the month um, down in San Francisco. So as we look to the future, we're looking to see how we can incorporate that technology and learnings that we've gathered from our, our, our commercial operations and uh, start transferring that to the leisure sector. Amazing, exciting. And how many years or how long was that hydrogen powered ferry in the works for? Or how long did that take? Yeah, it, it certainly was a, 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 a project that went on for a few years and, and it's been a, a massive collaboration um, between numerous stakeholders, um, naval architects, there's ourselves as a shipyard, the techno technology providers, um, and then throw in a sprinkling of COVID as well. Um, <laughs> it, it's been a, a very exciting project. And um, what it's really done is proven that it can be done and um, that the technology is sustainable enough to, to actually produce a viable return. So we're really excited about the future of this product. Yeah, amazing, I bet. And you've recently received the gold standard for Canada's Best Managed Companies Award. Congratulations, first off. Thank you, thank um, you. And what does this award mean for Brighton Marine Group? Yeah, certainly, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a testament to our entire team. Every organization in, in our group um, is you know, really focused on um, having detailed strategic plans, um, and detailed execution and management of those plans. And, you know, being awarded the gold standard really just cements our efforts in striving to be um, the best uh, companies in, in the communities that we serve, um, the best place to work in the communities that we serve. And this, this is really important to us um, as we strive to, to grow the organizations. And, um, to really enrich lives while spending time in the water. That's what the Brighton Marine Group is, is all about. That's our purpose. And being one of Canada, recognized as Canada's best managed companies really just uh, cements our efforts in, in, in that goal. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, that's amazing. You. Yeah, it's, it's, it, the congratulations is due to everybody else. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really, it's, it's a, it's a ma massive effort to be recognized, first of all, and to deliver repeatedly to get gold standard, uh, it's all down to the amazing people that we have in our organizations. Yeah, great to hear and much, much more for the future. <laughs> for um, sure, for sure. Yeah. And lastly, what's next for Brighton in terms of maybe short term or long term goals, if you can disclose anything or? Yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly, you know, it, it, as I mentioned before, we're striving to meet the demands of uh, the new market entrants that have entered our industry during COVID times that weren't being serviced before. We're seeing a younger generation of boats that get into the boating industry. So we're looking at feature sets that, that, that serve that market. Um, as the technology matures, um, uh, we're looking at decarbonizing our products um, you know, we, we're really focusing on environmental stewardship and what does that mean not only for us as a manufacturer, but also for our, our customers and our communities that we, we serve and operate in. Um, we continue to focus on being the best place to work. Um, this, is, this is very important to us. Um, we don't build boats, um, we enrich lives, and that that really 
talks to the people and the communities that um, we operate in and that, that we work hand in hand with. Um, getting on to the alternative propulsion technology, you know, that's really at the forefront of our R&D teams. Um, how do we transfer that technology that we've been exposed to in the commercial sector into the recreational sector? And how do we partner with, uh, with our suppliers to ensure um, that we have viable, viable solutions that are robust enough for, for the recreational market? I think that, that really is um, where we're moving towards. Um, what that looks like in the future, I'm not quite sure yet, <laughs> but time will tell. And uh, it's a very exciting journey to go on. Yeah, amazing. Well, this was wonderful and very insightful and congratulations to the whole team at Brighton Marine Group. Um, so thank you again so much for taking the time to sit down with us today and we look forward to keeping up with Brighton Marine Group. My, my absolute pleasure and um, thank you very much for your time. It's highly appreciated.